hello guys i trust you're doing fine and business is going fine today i'll be taking you through the process of making a chest worth pocket with loop for your senator and kaftan dresses you can see how beautiful and neat this looks some tellers find it difficult to sew a neatly finished wet pocket but never worry after this tutorial you will increase your charge if you are a returning subscriber thank you and if you're new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you get notified every time i post new video tutorials like this without taking your time let's get right into the tutorial all right now to make a kaftan or senator worth chest pocket or chest wet pocket you need two pieces of pocketing we'll be using the main fabric for our pocketing so the width are the same six inches and uh, six inches whereas the length is 7.5 inches for this and 6.5 inches for this now we're going to cut our interfacing i'm using cloth gum as my interfacing this is europe cloth gum so the length or the height is 2.75 which is two three quarter and the width is about 5.25 which is five one quarter that's for the bigger one the smaller one the height is two inches and the width is also the same 2.25 inches so you place them this way and gum them ensure you centralize it on both edges so you spray some water and gum them please if you find this video helpful do not forget to give it a thumbs up we've applied the interfacing on it so now the height of our wet pocket is going to be one inch and then we'll add 0 0.5 inch to it which is half of the height of the wet that's 1.5 inches so you mark it 1.5 inches now use your tracing wheel to enable you fold it all right you grab the place and fold it so we'll turn it to the other side and then press it down okay The height of the wealth pocket is one inch, so we'll mark one inch. We we'll also mark it this way. And then you connect it with a line. This is the height of our wealth pocket. So now the width of the wealth pocket is going to be four one quarter. I'll be using four one quarter. So now locate the center, which is this. This is the center. So four one quarter divided by two is two one eight, which is two point one two five. So you mark that here, okay? So you turn it this way. Also use your ruler to rule the line okay this is our wet pocket we'll be using this one to create the wealth so now this is for the facing and now the allowance of the facing will be half inch because the height of the wet pocket is one inch so our allowance is going to be one inch divided by two so but you can use one quarter if you like you can use one quarter here but i'll be using half inch which is 0 0.5 so i place it this way i mark 0 0.5 locate the center i'll also mark the width of the wealth pocket which is four one quarter divided by two this is two one eight and this is four one quarter okay so endeavor you rule these lines out okay so right now you can see that it coincides with this one okay make sure you get these dimensions accurately okay our wet pocket is going to have a loop so we'll be using button on the loop so 
I'll be using this piece for the loop. This is 6.5 inches length and the width is 2 inches. So I just add my heat adhesive tape, which is the hemming gum, to make it firm. So I just spray water on it and align both edges to meet and then press it. Please, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Iron one side this way. Just try to align the edges together and do this. This is for our tab. I'm going to show you how to fix that. We have these pieces here. So this is for the wet. This is a wet pocket facing. And this is for the pocket tab. What we're going to do now is to mark the wet pocket position. From the tip of the neck or the shoulder, I'm going to mark nine inches. I'll be using nine inches, okay? So from the center front, I'll mark two inches. So it's going to begin two inches from the center front. So what I'm going to do now is from the two inches, I'm going to mark the width of the wet pocket, which is four one quarter okay so now what i'm going to do is i draw this line straight and i also draw this one straight and then i'll also draw this one across so now to position the wet pocket from the position of the wet pocket mark 1.5 inches here and also mark 1.5 inches here trace this out on the wrong side using the tracing way trace it out this way okay now we're going to interface it okay all right so this is it and this is it this is it and um, What we want to do now is to interface this area where we want to sew our wet pocket. We have to interface it using ST. The width of the ST here is 5.75 inches and the height is about 2.5 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'll just fold it this way and then place it on the center line. And then I open it up back again and I apply it with iron. Please, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. We have interfaced the area where we want to fix our wet pocket, okay? So we'll go back to the sewing machine now. The first thing we're going to do is to sew the wet pocket loop. Remember I told you to have a loop and a button. Top stitch on the other side. What we're going to do next is to fold it this way, fold it into two, and then open it up this way, place it on your sewing machine and bend this part over this way. Try to bend this part and also make it align, okay? So when you do that, to stitch on it, to secure it, stitch on it okay all right so now you're going to measure from this angular part you measure from that angular part to about two inches okay and you also mark two and a half inches so it's on the two inches top stitch it there okay Cut it at this place where you marked 2.5 inches. Our pocket loop is set. You can weave the edges before you start sewing, okay? Before we start fixing the wet pocket, we're also going to mark the midpoint. So the width of the wet pocket is 4.25. So the midpoint is 2.125, 2.125, which is 218. Place it this way. And also ensure that the width coincide with the one you marked here, as you can see. 
so take your presser foot up lift your presser foot up and ensure that you sew on the line okay before you start sewing confirm that what you have here is one inch which is the supposed height of the width okay so you cannot sew remember you reinforce at the beginning and at the end of your sewing so we're going to sew this and um, for this there's no definite height according to the width of the button you want to use so from this point i will just reinforce one inch from this point so you make sure from this edge here to this edge is one inch okay is one inch that means it should be aligning okay from this point where you have your seam line to this point ensure it's one inch and also ensure it's positioned on the center and then top stitch it now we're going to sew this this is where the width of the pocket ends so just mark it here and also on the other side form a crease and mark it there as well so place it this way the right side is facing the right side of the front so ensure that from this point to the seam line this pencil line is your seam line ensure it is one inch why because the height of the wet pocket is one inch so whatever you have here which is one inch is also what you are going to sew here so that when you slash it open and turn it it's going to fit in perfectly and also ensure that the width is aligning with the one you just made the width of the width pocket okay so you just put that here put your tape and ensure it is aligning properly bring your needle down at the beginning also align it at this part after aligning it you can secure it with pin okay and then you sew after sewing turn it to the wrong side and then ensure that what you have here is also one inch as you can see okay and also ensure that none of these lines are longer than the other ensure it aligns you can see a chalk mark it aligns okay to open it up spread the allowance open this way and then fold it this way and clip it okay after clipping turn it to the back and then um, lift up your scissors this way ensure you are cutting only just this piece when you cut to about half inch to the end then you cut diagonally now this is where you have to be extremely careful at this point don't clip across the seam so you just stop right before the seam okay because once you clip across the seam it will ruin your wet pocket your wet pocket will no longer be neat okay you can see that don't clip across the seam just stop close to the seam okay you also repeat the same thing here when you are close to the end half inch to the end you clip diagonally okay close to the seam but not across the seam please not across the seam okay and ensure you're using the right share please don't use this kind of scissors to clip your wet pocket because the tip is not pointy so this is scissors and uh, this is a share this is the right one you use because of the sharp bleed okay all right what you do next now is turn everything inside okay turn the pocket facing inside this way okay Alright, so turn the wet pockets inside this way, okay? Turn everything inside. You can see how 
our void pocket is coming out okay so if you clip across the seam this area is going to open up and you may not find it very easy to control ensure this is straight and this other area is also straight and at the top of the wet pocket ensure there is no opening so all you're going to do is secure it with pin okay also secure this area this side of it with pin as well right now we're going to turn it to the wrong side and sew the edge of the diagonal that is we're going to sew the edge of the wet pocket this side okay so ensure you pull this up and make sure you are pulling it downward okay bring this one down ensure there is no hole and also do not stitch on the main fabric just stitch only on the diagonal okay so you bring your needle down tension the wet pocket facing down here and you sew okay so you reinforce it maybe two or three times you can see how clean the edge of the wet pocket is we're going to do the same thing on this side turn it over this way and then sew on the edge okay, you can see how it is on the right side so we're going to sew the pocket in this way you can take 0 0.5 inch on the edge this is how it is on the wrong side we're going to iron it on the ironing board now you just spray some water on it okay and you iron it please if you find this video helpful do not forget to give it a thumbs up so you can take out the pin okay so use your pressing cloth on it You can see that now you can bring out your tab and then mark your button position here okay so that's where you're going to fix your button so i'm using this button so you just pull your hand through it and bring your needle out take it from here this is called a shank button but some people call it anchor button so you put it back there you go all over again so you fix it back this way So you go for the third time. Please ensure you're putting on a timbo. Okay. So that you can also use it to pull the to push the needle through the fabric in case it's very thick. Do not your hand packing. What you do is you bring you need to through the fabric this way hold the other thread not this one on the needle this last one here so all you need to do is turn it around your needle four times one two three four okay and then you bring it back drag it down this way hold it and then you pull out the needle completely okay and when you do that use your finger to make it firm okay try to make it firm and don't cut it immediately what i do to make it last so that it doesn't lose is i pass it through the fabric in a way that it doesn't show on the right side okay when you pass it there you can now cut okay just cut it off there so you can see how it is 